leader is a uh, Congressional Homeland Security leader in our in uh, the Congress of the United States. Uh, we are asking some of the uh, questions concerning the Bangladesh, because Bangladesh is a contribution in peacekeeping since thousands of the troops is there working with the United States, and we are looking for the training center that we have a conference in New York as well as Washington D.C. The resolution was for supporting as a member of the Finance Committee. We are looking for your you know, the support and the comment on that issue, please, Congressman Peter King. Yeah, well, surely, uh, it's, it's great to be here with all of you again in, in my district here in Massapequa. Uh, and as I've said many times, the Bangladesh community is so important because uh, it really shows how Muslim Americans can stand up to terrorism and work with the American government and also working in your own government in your own country to ensure that al-Qaeda and other uh, Islamic terrorist organizations don't speak for the uh, Islam faith and uh, and for the Muslim people. So, um, it's again, it's my you know, pleasure to work with all of you. And you know, there's a number of issues you brought up today, certainly the uh, counterterrorism center in Bangladesh. I will be uh, talking to Congress in Crowley, and we'll be working to find a way to have the United States uh, work with you on that, because I think it's always important to have counterterrorism centers, but especially in the Muslim world to show the commitment right. of a uh, secular Muslim state to working with the United States and working with really all good people in the world uh, against Islamic terrorism, which, uh, as you said, rightly so, is such a small percentage, uh, but gives such a, a, uh, a wrong impression. Uh, as far as uh, war criminals and those who are wanted uh, for murder and other crimes in Bangladesh, any of those who are hiding out in the United States, uh, certainly, uh, U.S. law enforcement should be looking for them, and if they are captured, that we would have extradition proceedings. Uh, we can't be a haven for war criminals. And again, working with Congressman Crowley, uh, we'll be, uh, again, do what we can to make sure the justice is done. Okay, the, recently, the anonymously, the Supreme Court of Bangladesh verdicts against those people who killed the founder, father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and his uh, some of the killers is hiding in the United States and Canada and uh, recently that we are looking for anonymously support for all over the world and we are looking for your support to find out them and brought them in justice uh, to uh, in, in, in Bangladesh context and uh, that was the honor by the Supreme Court verdict. So what is comment on that? Yeah, well, certainly when it comes to war criminals or criminals wanted in another country uh, the United States should uh, work with your country to uh, find them and have them uh, go into a court in this country and face extradition proceedings. Uh, this is something that uh, is it's owed to a uh, country who works so closely with us in combating terrorism and also in struggling for law and order. So, uh, yeah, I will certainly work with you on that. And uh, I know that one person has already been extradited, I've been, I believe, from Los Angeles, and uh, others we locate, we should again have those proceedings be begun. And I know there's uh, some, there's one also in Canada, and I, I would say the same for that. I mean, Canada obviously has, has to do its own thing, but uh, certainly here in the United States, and whatever diplomatic influence we should we can bring in Canada, we should. Okay, one of uh, the uh, people uh, also from hiding in uh, Pakistan and other countries, I know the United States is, is also looking for going for the behind uh, of the Al Qaeda as well as of those people who did a criminal in, and also murder for murder rape as well as the killing for the innocent people and we are looking for your support for not only you bipartisan as the international county tourism as well as the committee of the homeland security is also that we think the threat those people who are looking for the another country and also how you could help us in Bangladesh to find them and brought them in the justice extradite in Bangladesh. Yeah, well, certainly our government should be working with yours, uh, setting up liaisons to obviously find anyone who's a uh, 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 who's escaping justice. Uh, again, we have to preserve law and order in our country, in your country, and we have to have international values that are, that are set up. We can't allow war criminals or criminals or people involved in terrorist activity or wanton criminal activities to find sanctuary in another country. Okay, thank you. Yeah, right now, the Bangladesh is going some kind of problem with the Al Qaeda. They came from Pakistan. You know, the the group name is Lashkar -e Tayeba. That's the group who attacked in Bombay uh, one year ago. And this group always trying to 
go to Bangladesh with some kind of Jamati Islami in Bangladesh. And this, this name of the group and the name of the party, the leader of the party's name is Nizami, and he is dealing all this stuff with Al-Qaeda, Pakistan, Afghanistan, all those groups. <coughs> so if they really going bad in our country, so what kind of help we are going to get from your country like United States? That's my question. No, certainly in tracking down any terrorist groups, particularly the ones who carried out the attack on Mumbai, which is particularly brutal. That was a horrible, horrible yeah. attack. And it's an example of what can happen anywhere in the world. Right. And certainly in Bangladesh, you're in the firing line. You're right in the front lines there. Right. And uh, I expect our government to work very closely with yours, our counterterrorism forces working with yours, because one thing we learned on September 11th is that this type of terrorism is international. It doesn't know borders. And uh, whether or not it's part of al-Qaeda directly or just affiliated with al-Qaeda or supporter of al-Qaeda, uh, I think we're going to be seeing these type of uh, offshoot organizations springing up all over the world. And we have our own homegrown terrorists here in this country who are al-Qaeda supporters. And certainly uh, I can tell you that I will be pleased to work with you and your government to do what we can to go after any terrorist organization, certainly those going after a country such as Bangladesh, which is such a strong uh, democracy, uh, such as India, which uh, suffered so terribly in, in uh, Mumbai last year. Yeah. Another one question, that is our country, you know, the prime minister of our country, right, Sheikh Hasina, uh, she was attacked 19 times by this terrorist group. So right now we, we got the alarm and uh, the Indian government gave us those kind of information that maybe within few days uh, they are going to make another attack or another attempt to, you know, kill Sheikh Hasina, the Prime Minister of our country. Mm -hmm. So we are really worried about this thing. So if you have in this country, United States or India, whatever the information we have, can you give us this, you know, earlier this way? Because in United States has a bigger, bigger, you know, the information things better than us. Can you give us a little information to save our Prime Minister, you know, uh, this way will be really appreciated. Surely, and what our intelligence agencies and counterterrorism agencies have should be shared with you, uh, because again, we are working together on this. So yes, our in information should certainly be shared with you. Right. Thank you. Thank you.